Okay, so some of you may be familiar now with this uh, build. Uh, this originally was a, a little SIG metal lathe. It's still a metal lathe now. Uh, but I've stripped everything out of it and I've made a, my own kit and fitted it to be CNC. So we're actually going to be tuning this in today. Um, right in up to you know with the DTI gauge as well with Mac 3 turn now this is the electronics uh, I did a full build on this two years ago uh, but it's a little different more recently I fitted a 24 volt power supply here um, which is supplying Power to this board. Now this board uh, is a very reasonably priced uh, little Mac 3 uh, four axes breakout board, USB conductivity, and this is uh, the the X and Z connections. That's the two axes that you use with a lathe. So they're connected in uh, step direction, step direction. X and Z. Now this is what I've recently put in. So here's the 24 volt supply into this little board and you can see here it's uh, in the um, 24 volt there that's where the plus is. The minus so the negative is connected into the DCM um, and also this, these three leads here, the leads connected up in together here, hope that's in focus. Um, these are the two going to one side of the limit switches each. And so this is a common earth, which is piggybacked up with the incoming earth from the 24 volt. And this is, now in this case, I have chose to use pin 3 and pin 4. Now normally with this board with Mark 3 it's just brought in all of the limit switches brought in on one pin. I wanted to separate them out so that is what I've done. Uh, there's no changes to the other end so I'll put the cover back on this now and uh, so that, that's all the changes that's been made. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to home the machine. So in Mac 3, we just come here to machine coordinates and I like to do mine separately. So you just press the, we'll do the Z first. So that's Z home. Now the X. Okay, so now we need to tune the axes or the ball screws in now very accurately. Now to do that we need to change the coordinate system uh, to a PAT offset and we will zero that axis because I just, I just moved the Z axis up, in the carriage up here so it's easy for me to film. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the MDI which is here uh, I'm in manual operation screen at the moment um, and I'm going to operate the Z axis just to see well what is it actually doing at the moment how close it is as in uh, if I put um, 20 millimeters in it is it going to move 20 millimeters 50 millimeters so this is what we're going to find out 
So we'll make it um, 25 millimeters, which is very close to an inch. Okay. So we want the, the, the top carriage here to move away from us, right, or in towards the material. So that's a minus number. Okay. And you'll notice too, I'm in diameter mode. Okay. There is a significance there. <laughs> Okay, so highlight the MDI and we're going to say X minus, so we want minus uh, directions away from us, uh, 25 millimeters. I'm in millimeter mode, okay, that tells me I'm, I'm in millimeters, not inches and you press enter enter that's a bit better and let's have a little measure there to see what exactly that is I just hold that over a bit that is now I know I'm doing this with a rule and we will be moving to a DTI shortly. That is, um, tw as I'm sure you can see, that my eyesight isn't playing up. That's um, 22, 22 and a half millimetre. So it's two and a half millimetre shy. So I'll show you what to do about that. So I'm going to alter that. So I'm going to alter that now, I'm going to take it up to, I'm going to go to possibly 900 and press save, okay, and we will retry that. Yeah, that's too much. That's um, 26.5. 26 so I'm just going to reduce that figure. So you can see by altering the figure uh, in the steps per, you can eas fairly easily get to uh, you know a fairly close uh, measurement or accuracy. Okay, so I've altered it now to 850 uh, steps per, that is. So now we're going to put in there x minus 25 and enter oh there you go that's pretty damn good um, not much in it Maybe a, a couple of uh, couple of thou. Okay, I've just altered it another five steps. So I've just taken it up to 805 steps per. So x minus two. Let's brought it down a little bit. Um, I'll keep altering it. I'll get this perfect. Well, that's within, you know, within a thou, really, in real terms. Uh, you know, this is on a long stem as well. Um, the only other thing to do now is to get a bit of material in there, um, get some G-code written up in the wizards, and uh, machine it and mic it up. Uh, so that's the next step. And we'll be doing that uh, in, uh, I'm not sure it's going to be the next video or the video after that, but um, sometime next week. So, as always, thank you for joining me for this uh, short little video of how to 
fairly accurately tune in your axes into the, the, the steps. A little bit of troll and error. There's no, I suppose there is a calculation you can do, but I've, I've always done it this way, way and I've always been successful and got it spot on. So, um, as always, press like, subscribe, and if you really like what I'm doing, you may consider becoming a patron to the channel because it is the patrons behind this channel that uh, keeps it going and allows me to make videos like this. So, uh, thank you for joining me and bye for now.